Flight C6. I've had a few requests now to um, do a little tutorial on how to uh, change the orientation on the board and remap motors, and so this is that. So I've got a 114 hooked up to Betaflight here. And so right now when I look at this, my quad is flipped upside down, and if I pitch to the left, it's like pitching backwards. If I pitch to the right, it's pitching forward. If I pitch forward, it pitches to the left. If I pitch back, um, it pitches to the right. Or actually, that's upside down, so reverse that in your mind. Anyways, um, the way you go ahead and fix that is you go into configuration. And if you're good at math, you can actually just go ahead and figure out what, um, what values to actually just plug in here, or you can kind of pop back and forth trying it out. So in, in my case, I know that my board is um, rolled 180 degrees, and so I'm on the configuration tab, and I'm in this board and sensor alignment. So I know that my board is rolled 180 degrees, so I'm going to change that. And I also know that mine is, well, I'll, I'll do it in two steps so you can see this. Okay. All right, so I s saved and rebooted it. Now I'm going to connect it again. Okay, so now my board's right side up. However, when I pitch forward, it pitches to the left. When I pitch back, it pitches to the right. When I pitch left or, or roll left, it goes backwards. When I roll right, it goes pitches forward. So now I need to um, go ahead and rotate it. And I happen to know that mine is, I believe it's 45 degrees rotated. And so I'm going to put that in here. And, but if... If you don't know exactly what it is, you can kind of trial and error here. But the things to know is when we're talking about degrees, you're dealing with 360 degrees. And we know that when we go from diamond to square, that we're going 45 degrees. So any value here should be some um, total of 45 degrees plus like 90 or 180 or um, 220, what is it, 180, uh, 90, 180, 270. Um, plus 45. So I'm going to save and reboot that. Connect it back up. Okay, so let's see. Now I'm going to pitch forward, it pitches forward, I pitch back, it pitches backwards, I roll left, it rolls left, I roll right, it rolls right. So I've got my orientation and my board done. Now what I need to do is go in and check my motors, and my motors are going to need to be remapped. So what you want to do here is you do need a battery. Um, you go ahead and plug that in, and um, obviously you should probably do this with the props off, but on these little one S's, I'm, I, I just leave them on, it's not that powerful. So then what I do is I go through and spin the motors and see which ones actually spin. So in my case, when I spin this up, you can't see it, but my motor number four is spinning even though I'm turning up number one. Then when I go number two, that's spinning my motor number three. When I go number three, that's spinning my motor number two. And when I go to four, that's spinning my motor number one. So I know now that I need to flip motor one and motor four, and motor two and motor three. And the way you do that is you've got to go into your command line interface, your CLI. And so in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type resource. And resource brings up kind of how your, your thing is considered um, configured in terms of what resources are mapped where. And the resources we want are these right here. This is our motor mapping. Let me get rid of um, get rid of that beeper. Okay, so I want my motor mapping, and I'm going to go over here. I've got a Notepad opened up, and you specifically want to use Notepad um, because it doesn't add any weird um, formatting uh, like Microsoft Word might. And so, if you're programming, you always want to use Notepad or some kind of thing that's specifically designed for programming. So to now re remap our motors, what I want to do is I'm, I want to make a copy of this. And the first thing I want to do is actually erase all the, um, all the current assignments. And that gives us room so that we can reassign it. So what I did here is I just took this, I put none in all of these. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. And when I put it back into the command line interface, you can see now it's telling me my resource is freed, resource is freed. So now my motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four are freed up. Now I need to go ahead and um, actually swap these. So I'm going to make one more copy of this. 
now I know that motor one and four were flipped. So for motor one, I'm going to go ahead and grab the value that it had for motor four. And then for motor four, I'm going to grab the value it had for motor one. And put those in. And then I'm going to go ahead and I know my motor two and motor three were flipped. And I'm then going to go ahead and change those. So then to motor two, I want the value for motor three. Now I'm going to take these, and I'm going to go back to my CLI, my command line interface, paste those in there. So now to remap those motors, and what I want to do now is I want to say save. And so it's going to save it, and it's going to reboot. Now I'm going to go back in, back to my motors tab, and I'm going to check two things this time. One is I'm going to check to make sure the right motor is spinning, and I'm also going to check the road, make sure that rotation is in the right direction. Um, here. Oops, left that battery connected too long. Let me pause this and get a new battery. I just might have killed that battery. Okay, fresh battery on there. Don't do what I just did, which was to use a already flown battery and mess around with it way too long. Okay. So let's try this again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spit up my motors. And so I'm spinning that right there, and spin these up. So now I'm, I've got my motor one spinning, so that's the right one. Motor two is spinning, so that's correct. Motor three is spinning, that's correct. And motor four is spinning, and so that's correct. And I already adjusted the rotation, the direction of rotation on these, so mine are spinning all in the correct um, direction. But if yours aren't, and if you're doing this, this for the first time, they probably aren't, then what you need to do is go into either BL Heli or JESC and um, um, remap your motors or reverse the direction. So, in order to do that, I'll show you what that looks like really quick. So, now I'm switching over and connecting to uh, BL Heli. And so, once you're connected, you want to read the setup, a lot of these boards will need to be have a motor or a battery plugged in to be able to power the ESC so you can read them. So that's what I'm doing right now, plugging the battery. Now I'm going to read the setup. And so now I see my setup. And in here, if you want to go ahead and um, change the motor directions, which I'm not going to do, what you would do is go ahead and if it's reversed, you go to normal. If it's normal, you go to reversed. And then once you've switched them all, then you go ahead and you hit right setup, which I'm not going to do because mine is working correctly. And so that's that's it that you need to do um, to actually remap your motors. Until um, next time, cheers.